Welcome back to Word of Mouth. My name is PJ, and today I'll be reviewing a product, a staple in the black community, that something that we probably use every single day. Well, at least somebody uses it every single day. Uh, maybe not while we're on this quarantine, though, <laughs> unless you have a pair at home. But it's going to be hair trimmers. And the specific brand I'm going to be reviewing today is going to be the Bevel Hair Trimmers. Start with the vision, vision, then make a killing, killing. Gonna make you a million they gonna make you a villain if you are new to the YouTube channel this is a channel where I review and discuss different black owned businesses and products just like the one that you see right here So Bevel has these hair trimmers and they also have like a shaving kit, uh, but I don't use, I, I don't shave, I don't plan on using that, so I uh, gifted that to somebody else um, that I had, but I'll still be talking a little bit about that. Bevel parent company is Walker & Co, which is founded by Tristan Walker, and actually recently they got acquired by P&G, or I think Tristan sold uh, some of Bevel to P&G, but Tristan is still the CEO of Bev of Walker & Co. So I'm not sure if that still technically makes them black owned, but either way, I'm gonna review these and bring you the information about them. But anyway, I'll have more information on Bevel in the description below. And also, if you're enjoying the content so far, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell notification so you can be tuned in and stay up to date on every video that I drop. We got new videos dropping each week now. So make sure you're tuned in so you can stay up to date on the newest, latest and greatest black owned businesses and products that we have to offer in the community. So I'm not an expert on hair trimmers, nor have I ever bought a decent pair of trimmers. I've only bought like maybe a $20 cheap pair of trimmers from Best Buy or Walmart, things like that, because I usually just go to the barbershop. But for my last job, I was traveling a lot and I didn't get a chance to go to the barbershop as much as I would need to. Plus, I would also need to stay uh, pretty neat and clean. So, since I'm committed to buying black owned products, naturally I had to search and find black owned hair trimmers that I could use. And these are not the only black owned hair trimmers. I will review some more that I found, but these are just the ones that I found first. So, these are the ones that I'm going to get to first. And I originally was going to give you some cons and pros from my usage of it, but like I said, I'm not an expert on these things, on these topics. So, I, I wanted to give you an opinion from somebody who would be considered an expert. So I took these to a couple different barbers and got their opinion. I had them use it, give me a lineup. I'm growing my hair out, so I did. And plus, these are just trimmers anyway. They're not clippers that you would cut somebody's hair with. So went and got lined up um, from a couple different barbers, and I wanted them to tell me what they thought about it. So I have that information down, and we're gonna just go into the cons and pros of using the bevel hair trimmers. So from taking these to Two or three different barbers here are the cons and pros that i have for the bevel hair trimmers so con number one that i got from the barbers is that these clippers are heavy and i didn't even think about taking the time to go weigh these on the actual scale before i reviewed the product or before i started this video i just thought about it as i'm making the video so i'm gonna go do that and uh, it, it'll show somewhere on the screen how much they weigh after i do that but yeah the barber was saying that this these trimmers are pretty heavy so giving somebody a lineup uh, you definitely want to have a steady hand and holding these for like let's say all day your hand might become uh, unsteady and you might not be able to give the sharpest lineup that you need to because they get heavy in your wrist um, you might get weakened just due to the fact that you're holding these heavy trimmers all day and I know that was a that was a con that I heard from every barber that I gave this to is that they're heavy so I want to definitely list that as the number one con because your lineup needs to be straight and you can't be out here giving lineups with unsteady hands. So con number one is just that these clippers, these trimmers are heavy, heavy to hold in your hand. So con number two is going to be the power button. And it's in a pretty weird spot. Here I'll show you. 
So if you looking at the clippers, right here, here's the power button. And it's kind of hard to do, like if you're holding the clippers with one hand. So you would have to take two hands to turn the clippers on. And that's not really gonna be the most ideal thing for a barber. It's not, I would say it's not the most important thing in the world, but um, like it's kind of weird having to, I can do it with one hand, but I have pretty big hands. Uh, I'm 6'3", so you just, I got pretty long arms. I'm just a, I guess, taller than average. I have bigger hands than average normal person. So, you know, a smaller person with smaller hands might not be able to hold in one hand and turn the power on with the power button. It's kind of a weird spot. So that's going to be kind of too. A couple of farmers complain about that. Then it's just not quick enough for them to just pick up it go ahead and turn it on whenever they need to do that. So that's gonna be con number two, power button is in a weird spot, they'd rather have it in a different. And con number three, and this one is pretty crazy, and bear with me when I say this, it's gonna be the price. The price of these trimmers are $200. And all the barbers told me that this price was crazy because they can get some comparable trimmers for way less. I'm not gonna name the other brands because they're not black owned, but they can get some comparable clippers that do the same as that job, um, if not better, for a little bit less. So, and I personally think this two hundred dollar price is, is crazy, you know. And this is definitely out of the price range for somebody who just wants to buy some trimmers to trim themselves up sometimes and to keep themselves looking neat. And unless you're a professional barber, and you're gonna use these every single day. Two hundred dollars is not the way. Two hundred dollars not the move for this for, the, for this type of product in my opinion you know somebody else might have a different type of opinion but like I said I talked to barbers and they said two hundred dollars is crazy you know so con number three is gonna be the price of these trimmers two hundred dollars is not ideal con number four is that this product really didn't from what I got from the barbers and just from doing it myself well actually from doing it myself I didn't really see a noticeable difference, but I had a barber show me like he used one clippers on one half and he used these clippers on the other half and he showed me like these clippers are not as sharp uh, as some other clippers would be or as far as like they don't give you that. They get the job done and they do a good job, but they just don't give you that extra, extra crisp look you need for your lineup. So that's gonna be con number four, is that these blades could be a little bit sharper and a little bit better for actually outline and getting that sharp, crispy look that, that we all need for our lineups. So now, I'll just hop right into the pros that I have for Bevel. Pro number one is that this design of the actual trimmers are nice and smooth and elegant. As you can see, I hope you can get this. Well, it has the name right here, Bevel. I can't, oh, there you go. See that but you have Bevel right here. Uh, they fit smooth in your hand. The design is very smooth and elegant and nice. Uh, very sleek, and they fit nice in your hand. Like I said, they're pretty heavy, but they do still fit nice in your hand. All the barbers like the design and the color. They did just release an all black pair, so they do have an all black pair out now, but barbers like the Barbers like this a lot. They like the design. They love it. So that's gonna be pro number one. Also, these clippers don't, these trimmers don't get hot fast. So that's gonna be a huge thing, huge bonus, especially when cutting children's hair, is that it don't get hot. Pro number two is that this blade right here is actually pretty wide. And I don't have any other trimmers to compare it to, but I just know that other trimmers that the barber were telling me stop about right here so this just gives you a wider base so your lines can be straighter and you won't have to keep doing like little short segments um, this covers a pretty wide part of a lineup and that's going to be pro number two a lot of the barbers are telling me that this is a good thing that the blade was wide it was pretty wide uh, I'll, I guess I can include like the exact length of this right here and I'll have it up here somewhere probably over here is where you'll see the exact length but yeah these are wide and like I said the blade is nice the blade is nice not as sharp as it could be but it's pretty nice and straight out the box so they like the blade and the width of it pro number three is that 
Bevel also offers a shaving kit. So this is not specifically to deal with these trimmers, but they also offer a shaving kit that I actually um, gave away. <laughs> I got to give that to somebody else because, like I said, I don't plan on shaving. I don't actually use the razor to shave my face uh, either. So, But the, the pro is that the shaving kit comes with detailed instructions if you don't know how to shave. And they come with, um, it comes with the razor, it comes with the brush, it also comes with some oil um, and shaving cream and things like that. The kit just comes all in one, prepared for you to get a nice clean shave. Well, that's all I have for the bevel trimmers. Be sure to share this product. Share this with a friend and share it with a barber. Tell at least one person about this product because uh, a barber or your friend or somebody may want to try these trimmers out for themselves and they want to they might want to see how they feel and how they work you know and this is one of the main things that I want to spread the message about in our community is that we should be buying products that are made by us especially for things like this that are for us you know what I'm saying I don't know any other culture who actually gets lineups I know some of the cultures mimic our culture and get in lineups but as far as their culture in themselves, I don't know any other culture who really does that. So we should be using products that are made by our own people, in my opinion. If you thought this video was valuable, be sure to like and subscribe. And also, be sure to hit the bell notification so you can be tuned in on videos whenever we drop them. We got videos coming every week. And also, if you want to be a supporter of black-owned businesses, but you maybe just don't want to buy them for yourselves, there's a link in the description where you can become a Patreon supporter for just $5 a month. For just $5 a month, you can be a Patreon supporter, and all of that money will go towards me purchasing other black-owned products that I can review and show you what we as a community have to offer. And remember, the best way we can support each other is by spreading the word through positive word of mouth. Catch y'all next time. Start with the vision, vision, then make a killing, killing. You gon' make you a million, they gon' make you a villain.